sink, sink. There were days when the master class came and the race was on. And for us to portray the characters accurately, we need to mold the flesh accordingly to the algitate and the fungi. Highway 17, northbound. We're going to the Dunlop. It's a bar where they serve homemade frog legs. This is a story, or actually an attribute to uh, a friend of mine. Here you may initially see only a, a heap of bottles, glasses, shakers, and openers. But once spotlighted, there appears a smiling periessence de la belle que. Belle de, de la belle que. Here the shadow of fish, sea beam, sardine, tuna, globefish, and shark reveal themselves in Chinese characters. This shadow sculpture of a motorcycle built entirely out of 848 welded forks, knives, and spoons is based on an earlier concept that Fuduka exhibited in his 1965 show, Toys and Things Japanese. Fuduka wanted to create a three-dimensional object in which the shadow, as opposed to the actual form, represented the object. Fuduka was to remark that it is extremely difficult to create a three-dimensional object in this fashion that allows light to penetrate evenly. One Cannot Cut the Sea, Welded Scissors, 1988, 122 by 122 by 112 by 97 and a half inches. After the success of Lunch with, after the success of Lunch with Helmet on, Faduka was commissioned to work on another sh shadow sculpture. After the success of Lunch with the Helmet on, Faduka was commissioned to work on another shadow sculpture. He obtained the rigging plan of the MS Shindapon Maru and told his collaborator that he wanted to create an image with metal scissors. There was no response for days. Unbelievably, however, Faduka completed the work after only one week. He used 2,084 scissors to complete the ship. Wow. Amazing, that was really impressive. Okay, this is Faduka's first attempt to sculpt an impossible figure. It is a three-dimensional realization of the building depicted in M.C. Escher's classic print, Belvedere. Oh yeah, all right, so we've got that going on and let's, uh, let's see what we have.